Hello everybody, my name is Cole from 2015. Welcome back to your brand new video. So it's been a while since I played Destiny 2. And by the way, I have my allergies acting up right now, so my voice isn't 100% right now. But um, I just want to pound a little commentary. So say where I've been, what I've been up to, and what I'm looking forward to. And let's just say, I just want to talk about uh, Destiny 2 for a little bit. What the uh, ups and downs of the game is right now. And uh, yeah. So with the uh, new expansion of Warline, basically um, the campaign was eh, shortish, really short. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The uh, new exotic masterworks are improvement, except for correction. Cruise was a lot funner with the new exotic masterworks. Uh, more guns are actually viable against other guns, so actually Crimson is viable now. Gravitown Lance is the uh, Favorites, not a second favorite in the crucible against the villagers win. And um, I really want that new trial so machine gun. But um, other than that, um, basically I've been playing a lot of crucible, like quick play, solo quick play majority, and it, um, I'm actually basically I went up all the way up to five and reset, which is kind of nice. Got some gear off it, which is nice. And uh, until they fix uh, broken solo queuing, um, I kind of been lagging to get wins in this freaking mode because they gotta fix the bug, you know, uh, among other bugs like the crystal engine and stuff. Or kind of but uh, basically, like this DLC's a little bit better than Osiris. Um, Banner comes back tomorrow on Bannerfall, which is nice. CV6 Banner. And in a nutshell, win for E3. Hope I'll play this game can fall. I think I believe Activision confirmed that they're gonna reveal the fall plans or expansion for this game come E3. I think I'm reading on Twitter at some point. I'm looking forward to hopefully maybe like in one or two for Battlefield 5 this week as well. Looking forward to seeing more gameplay at Anthem. Call of Duty, maybe, um, Division 2, maybe, Spider Man, and a plethora of other games. But other than playing Destiny, I've been playing a little bit of Fortnite here and there. I've been playing World War 2 a little bit here and there. Um, I love Fortnite, but I hate so much of Fortnite. I hate so much. I can sell it with game, but I hate when you sell it with game. I don't play with games. Until I get annoyed with it. Do it. Um, uh, basically, in a nutshell, I don't know why I really have to motivate myself that much to post videos. I like streaming for videos for some reason. I just like the motivation to do. I don't know why. I love, enjoy streaming, but I gotta just calm down, motivate, make new videos. You know, to find out how many games I enjoy playing like this game. Cause like, I can't really play this game until like it's dead. Go like, around 385 and then probably around the character and then I play more Fortnite or hopefully wait for other games to come out in the fall. Cause it's a lot of potential, a lot of games coming out this fall that I'm looking forward to like um, uh, Skull and Bones, and Battlefield hopefully, Call of Duty I'm really looking forward to, can't wait for Call of Duty. And basically like there's a couple of games I want to get into, which is Skull and Bones. Really want to get back in Battlefield. Really want to back, get back into Call of Duty. And I want to stick with this, stick with this game too. But I don't know. If Fall doesn't, if, the, if they show up the Fall expansion at E3 and it doesn't hold the par, I think this game really might just go down the drain. Oh yeah, they're also adding a. I think it's next week. I think they're adding, or this week they're going to be. No, next next week they're going to be adding. I believe. I think. I look at the roadmap, but I think they're adding next week. Or is that? I might be into that actually. But eventually they're gonna add Crucible Lab, which is gonna be nice. Like it's just a little PvP. Like, so when they ship this stuff out, we'll actually know what's coming and it won't be broken as. Very much gonna be broken. Which will be nice. But uh, all in all, DLC could have been a lot better. Uh, Crucible's a lot more fun, except for a few. And I have a lot of hope and a lot of hopefully a lot of hope and a lot of faith that hopefully video games actually 
appeal to me and actually succeed and not fail. But E3 is a couple weeks time. I'm gonna try to stream more frequently and post more frequently. But other than that, yeah. My life on that show alone is basically Destiny, Fortnite here and there, streaming here and there, and waiting for more games. If you guys enjoy, drop a like, subscribe new, and score for more. Peace.